the Grahams are a proud Scottish family with Anglo-Norman roots that actually predate the founding of the Kingdom of Scotland. And my mother's branch of the family has been in North America since 1837. And in the early 80s, some of the Grahams had a reunion in Windsor, Ontario. And for fun, the family historian, the late Fred Graham of Dundas, Ontario, circulated a, an ancient family document, uh, the actual last will and testament of George Graham of Reedkirk, Scotland, from the mid-17th century when the Stuart kings ruled Scotland and England. And he challenged us all to translate it into modern English because it was written in rather archaic English and in handwritten uh, script. Unfortunately, I couldn't go to the reunion, so I never got to present my interpretation of the will, but here it is today. And I have to admit I've taken some liberties with the actual text of the document for dramatic purposes. So the words are my own, but the tune that I'm going to use is a traditional Scottish and English folk tune, although some of you may also recognize it from a California Gold Rush folk song. Mm. So this is the last will and testament of George Graham of Reedkirk. Now George Graham of Reedkirk was a canny old Scot. By saving each penny of fortune he got, to his family he promised on his dying day, death tax to King Charles they would not have to pay. But George said his brother, your liege is Charles Stuart. In the kingdom there's no one more loyal than you art. I have a Charlie to London where he stands with abandon. In my pocket he'll not get his English hand in. But George says his brother, no lad have you got, nor lad have you neither to leave him your lot. So what will you do? You can't give it away, or they'll tax you for certain and you'll still have to pay. Says George to his brother, your son has my name. We're George Graham both and we look just the same. Let him take my place, let him stand in my stead. And those government fools will not notice I'm dead. Then the sheriff burst in, he had heard the whole truth. And he took the whole lot of them to the toll booth. Where the case was soon heard by twelve good men and true. And the fate of the family I'll now tell to you. George Graham of Reedkirk to heaven he went, and to Stony Mountain his brother was sent, and the rest of the clan was dispersed far away, Illinois, Manitoba, Dundas, and L.A. Now this tale has a moral I hope you can can, for if you do not you may land in the pen. Don't cheat on death taxes or your plan could be cursed, as for me, I'm intending to spend it all first.